Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Sidetrack bringing you part two in uh, an overview tutorial of uh, MDIO's Mod Tinker's Construct. Now, last video we just talked basics about what it is, why might you might want to use it, and now we're going to get into some of the nitty gritty. So, first thing you want to do is when you spawn, you will spawn with this kind of tan version of Materials and You. Uh, the first thing I'm going to tell you is read the stupid books. Um, you can figure out everything in this mod if you just read the books. Um, now if you're a little confused that's what I'm here for but read the books they're a great reference. I feel like a, te a teacher. <laughs> so you'll read this book, uh, put it in your invent or put it in your hand, right click and you'll go through and it tells you a little about what's going on. Um, first thing you want to do is you'll notice that there are all kinds of recipes right in here. Um, we're going to go through some of these. First thing you're going to make is a blank pattern. You probably want about 30 or 40 of them. You will use most of them. Um, you'll need two wooden planks, two wooden sticks, and makes yourself a blank pattern. You're going to take that blank pattern and you're going to put it on top of some oak wood planks and you're going to get a stencil table and you're also going to get a copy of Materials in U version 2. So it's a little different than the first one. We'll get to it in a minute. Um, you'll take a third blank pattern, put it on top of a chest, it's obviously in your crafting window, um, and you'll make yourself a pattern chest. I'm going to talk about what each of these does in just a moment. You use another blank pattern, a crafting table, and it will make you a tool station. Now this tool station is perfectly serviceable for your basic um, tools and weapons. If you want anything made out of metal, however, you will have to make yourself a tool forge. Tool forge is a little more complicated. Um, ignore this half for right now. You're going to need three seared bricks, four blocks of iron, and one of those tool stations. It's going to make you a tool forge. In order to make these seared bricks, you're going to take one sand, one clay, one gravel, put them in your crafting window, and you'll get two grout. These grout you actually need to take to a furnace. Um, you'll cook them and they will turn into seared bricks. These seared bricks then you put in a square on your crafting window and that will make you these seared bricks that you will need for this tool station. So, um, like I said, you don't need the tool for, or, yeah, the tool forge for basic stuff, but you will need it once you want to make some of the more advanced um, weapons and tools like we're about to do now. This mod also adds several different ore in the world. It adds some copper, it adds some tin, it adds some aluminum, and then cobalt and ardite are only found in the nether. They're a little hard to find. Um, you kind of have to get used to looking for little splots of blue and little splots of gold um, because they don't spawn terribly frequently. Um, look a lot on the ceiling, look a lot on the walls and the floor. Um, it's generally better to go exploring than to try and do some elaborate mine because they're fairly infrequent. All right, so let's go over here. What are these things and what do they do? Well, this mod, I think like I told you before, is all about making different items. In order to make these items, you need to get the parts. So if I were to click on the hammer, you can see that it requires some pieces. It has a little bit of info about it. Um, but if you go to the red materials in you and right click and it actually gives you much better information right in this book. I think uh, M. Dio was an absolute genius when he added these um, because it, it makes this so much easier. Um, Alright, so today we're going to make a hammer and in order for the hammer we need a hammer head, two large plates, and a tough rod. Now you will see that the natural abilities of the hammer, it has an area of effect mining ability. Ooh, that's pretty cool. Um, in addition, it does extra damage versus undead, and it has very high durability. Alright, hammer head, two large plates, tough rod. Now, in order to make these, you are actually going to go to your stencil table, you will take your blank patterns, put your blank patterns in this spot, and then you will cycle through these patterns until you find the ones you want. Alright, so that's a tool rod. I need a hammer head. I need a reinforced plate. And I need a tough tool rod. And go figure, I've already made them. 
and I stuck them in my pattern chest. Now you'll notice that the pattern chest only contain, can put patterns. I can't put bone in there, I can't put flint in there. Um, it only takes these patterns. Um, so the nice thing about the pattern chest is if, you, or if you've got a pattern chest right next to your part builder, this is the next thing we're looking at, hey look, they are all right here and easy to access. So I'm going to make a hammerhead. I need some large plates. And you can make this out of whatever you want. So if you make it out of stone, I'm going to say cobblestone, it's going to tell you it's going to have a base durability of 131. It's a handle modifier. This uh, impacts the durability. It's going to actually, if you make your handle out of stone, it cuts the durability of the final tool in half. Its mining speed is 4, which is fairly slow. It can mine up through iron, and it does a tiny bit of attack. Um, say instead you wanted to use bone. Bone actually has a higher durability, better handle modifier, and generally all around better. Um, if, you know, maybe you were a little crazy and you're like, I've always wanted to make a tool out of cactus. Well, you can. Kind of fun. Wouldn't advise it. Um, good for weapons, not for tools. So, because I have this here, I need two of these, one of those, and my tough tool rod. There we go. Alright, so I've got all of these parts. These are all the parts that I need. Um, now you'll notice I'm going to the tool forge instead of the tool station. Tool station, like I said, is not as good, and there is no none of the tier two um, tools and weapons, so the hammer is not on the tool station. It's only on the tool forge. That is exactly correct, so don't get yourself confused. So I'll take my two plates, my rod, and the head, and hey look, I'm going to make myself a hammer. Now you'll find that the, ha the durability of this hammer is 693. It does a little bit of attack damage, probably not want to use it for that. Um, it mining speed of 4 and it mines iron. Exactly what we talked about before. So the other cool thing is you can name this. Um, yeah, why not? Um, so we're going to take this hammer, head downstairs, um, and just because I'm here, oh, it's unpeaceful. <laughs> <laughs> um, and we're gonna just gonna try this out. All right, so you'll see it takes a little while to mine, but about as long as uh, you'd expect something made out of stone to mine. Ooh. Hey, look, it munches right through the coal. Oh, the iron gets chewed up. Oh, but we come down here with gold, and you'll see that it cannot actually mine gold, so it leaves this in place. Um, kind of a nice feature. You don't have to worry about breaking the gold as you mine through. Um, and this makes oh, telephone. Um, this makes for you know making nice mine shafts. Very simple, very easy. Um, and then you can go back later and pick out the sides. So hopefully that was a good overview on how to make different things. Um, my next video we're going to talk about the smell tree and some of the more advanced features. Um, you know what you might actually want to make some tools out of. Um, you know, we're going to talk about the abilities of some of the different materials, and uh, we'll just get a little more in detail. But uh, for the moment, this is Sidetrack signing off. Have a good day, guys.